Hi everyone. So um, after using these Montmart pouring acrylics for a while, I've realized that you just can't mix them with other paints with different pouring mediums in them. So I'm gonna start using them up and I'm pretty sure, and we'll find out at the end of this, um, but if I just use these and no other paints, that they'll probably be fine. I've had trouble with this cut, this light blue. So if this sits nicely, then I know that you can only mix them with each other. So that's the light blue. I've also got the, the Shiraz, some white, which is titanium white. Uh, there's a little bit of this left, which is a mint green and a tiny bit of light purple, which is why I've got it upside down because I'm trying to get it to the bottom. So I'm going to do a flip cup because I've actually, I'm actually liking the results I'm getting with flip cups. Um, it's very basic, so um, it will help me practice my tilting. Um, although I'm using a very small canvas today, I've got this one, um, only because I've got small amounts of these two colours and I don't really want it all to be blue and pink but you never know how it's going to turn out and I don't want to use too much of this white because I want to save it for tomorrow's canvas so um, let's get started okay so no base today just straight onto the canvas Could be a feature. some of that blue left and the pink and we can use it around the outside Pastel palette. My tools ready. All right. 
Let's... Explosion. Now I haven't added anything to this. But we've got cells. Get rid of the bubbles. this it's almost half and half This one needs a bit of pizzazz.
let's try that. Could be interesting. To follow the sign and go this way. It's all blue. I don't think. Blob of light there. Okay. I don't know whether to, uh, tempting. Okay. Now, do you ever have those times when your art didn't go the way you hoped and you feel like you just need to get a win? Well, that's how I feel today. So I've just done the other Montmartre test um, so, and I've decided I'm going to do another one in the colours that I prefer which are the, the um, bronze, gold, black, white and burnt sienna. 
Now, because I've got quite a bit of burnt sienna and I had a bit of black left over, I've mixed this up um, to make a dark brown. Um, so it's still the same brand, but this black hasn't even been opened. So I've got this black um, and now I have a, a dark brown. Actually, I'm not sure how dark it is. It's just a, like a little bit on. Yeah, see, that's almost black. So that'll be fine. So my plan here is to go a little bit different. Uh, I just saw a video by Laura, something I'm going to have to find out and... Um, Put a, her in the description or something. Um, she did a canvas with um, a ring pour through the center and stretched out and it looked very effective. So I thought yeah all right let's, let's give that a whirl because again it looks like one I shouldn't be able to stuff up but you never know. So I'm going to, well, let's actually, I'll fill the cup first, I think, and then we'll put it aside. I'll put some of the dark brown at the top and the bottom, and then I'll do the ring pour through the middle and stretch it out. Uh, yeah, okay. And then I'll know how much paint I've got left as well. So what do I want on the bottom? This is a ring pour, so let's start with white and end with white, I reckon. Some burnt sienna, black. Probably didn't need to cut this big. The gold. White, bronze, and again these paints are ready to pour, nothing needed to be added. huge amount of this. Let's finish with white. Now I do have paint left over. I'm just going to put that to the side. And I might go the dark brown and maybe some burnt sienna in the middle. Let's, let's coat this canvas. It's okay if it's not perfect. I don't mind a bit of colour running through it. Alright. All right. Now. yesterday where I didn't level out the paint. I don't really want to do that again today. Okay. 
pop the bubbles. There's a lot of it. Probably because I was shaking up the paint. Okay. Probably I want to do it this way. I'm going to start the top here. It's very woodsy, but it's going to have some nice shine.
So here's the wet look for this one. Uh, it is actually starting to dry. I'm a little bit late doing the wet one, but um, you know, I like the bright pink actually through here with all the small dots um, and the cells that break that up. And I like this down here with the big open circles. Oh, they've turned into ovals, but that's quite good as well. Um, the colours, yeah, not something I would use again. Um, the only reason I really chose it was because I wanted to test these paints together. So that's about it for that one. Okay, here it is wet. And uh, I didn't get the composition I was going for initially, but this looks quite interesting. It really looks um, like a piece of wood or something, but the patterns going through here are quite nice. Um, it's a shame I've got all this white up here I've only got a small amount down here and this was a little bit I added later um, so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing this one dry because it's obviously it's got a lot of bronze and gold in it so I feel much better now <laughs> okay here we go with the dried results now this one's Interesting. I, I don't know. I'm, I've got it this way because to me <laughs> This white bit looks like a little dancing ghost or something But um, yeah, I haven't quite decided which way it looks best mm, No, I don't know mm, Yeah, anyway, so we've got some we did get some nice cells through here um, and lots of little, little tiny ones, and I do like the the cells up here. That the shape has held, even though they're squished, they're still a circle rather than being all like this one's a bit more weird shaped. Um, yeah, so got we did manage have a little bit of green coming through but it was mostly um, the light blue and the pink um, but the the test was whether the um, whether it would break up or anything and they've held together really well without uh, using any other brands or or mixes so that's that one and then we had the golds and the metallics and the black so this one's quite a moody a moody type one um, it's got some shine to it and uh, I think it looks a little bit like wood grain but other people think it looks a bit creepy so <laughs> I'd love to know what you think um, and that's about it for today so again the colors held up well together um, so I just wouldn't mix them with anything else so yeah I'll see you all in the next one